A metre flathead has never been caught in Queensland, as far as I know. Maybe someone has, but I've never seen or heard of it. Over the next two days, me and Rodney are throwing big swim baits in the hope we can achieve the impossible. He's really got him. Oh, he ate it and then he spat it. Oh my gosh, he ate it and then he spat it. Well, today we're on the Gold Coast and um, we're finishing off our series on catching flathead. Today we're going to fish the shallows. We're going to look for a big girl for you. I've got a little uh, Defiance on here, Zarek Defiance. Rodney's swimming with uh, swim baits. We're going to show you all the different lures that work, the different techniques in trying to catch. <laughs> big flathead in the shallows. My PB is about 82. I think Rodney's is what, 87 or something? 93. Oh, shut up, Rodney. 93 is his PB. I'd really like to beat mine. He'd really like to beat his. Uh, and the Gold Coast, Gold Coast is a, a great place to do it. So, fingers crossed today, we can show you exactly how to catch a big fish of a lifetime flathead. Jump right in on that. Big clunk. How did it not connect? Oh. I saw the boil in the water. So we're in the mouth here of a lagoon, and uh, it's a very well known spot on the Gold Coast. We have a south easterly blowing straight into us, it, so it's making casting a little bit difficult, but um, sometimes in the shallows, a little bit of wind is good because it uh, just. Um, stirs up the surface and gives the fish confidence to move up into the shallows. They feel like they've got a bit of cover. Uh, Rod's just had a big whack. Big whack, eh? Big. Big whack. Oh, come on. Oh, look, Taylor. There's about a million. Look at them all. Oh, my gosh. Look at them. <laughs> Hopefully that's what, what, what it wasn't. There's a tiny little fry here in the water and Taylor carving through it. Anyway, good signs early. Keep casting. These fish can be the fish of a thousand casts. Three hooks there. And connected. Oh, what a pretty fish. But, whoa, come back here, mate. Relax. Whoa. And it's certainly not a monster. Certainly not the fish we're looking for but not a bad start. Literally in about a foot and a half of water. Yeah, beautiful fish. Whoa, nice one. Good start. Cracker. Oh, he'd be at least, could have, maybe 55? Yeah, something like that. Easily. On the duo, beautiful. All right, I'll hit the spot lock. We'll show you guys this beautiful fish. Oh, what a lovely fish. Look at the colour. In this lighter, sandy water, they get those real light spots all over them. He's beautiful, gorgeous blue tail. Let's have a look. Certainly not the big dog that we're after, but hey, it's just shy of 60, so 58 centimetres. That's a nice fish. Happy with that. I'll show you the lure I got him on in a second. But just a beautiful fish to start the day. Never hang these fish without holding their body, especially when they're big. If they're little ones, it's okay. But when they start to get a bit of meat on their sides, you don't want to stretch out their gill rakers. You want to be able to support them. Look at his dorsal fin up there. Just such a cool fish. Look at the beautiful eyes on this guy. The spots go right over the top of the eyes. And they'll just sit there on the bottom push themselves into the sand and just wait for that passing bait fish. Love catching those things. Yeah. Now they've got two fish. Okay, so that fish was caught on this guy here. It's a realist jerk bait. Uh, 120 SP from Duo. It's a shallow diver. You can see that little bib on the front there. Three sets of trebles, which is fantastic. Hook up rate's very, very high. 
got a great action in the water. Now some guys think you need to fish for flathead with lures that have no rattle, no sound. But I think that's ru absolute rubbish. You think about how much sound is on the water, the amount of boats that are on this waterway. Every time a, f a, a mullet jumps and splashes on the water, these fish are used to sound. I think you can do everything in your power to try and attract them. So a little bit of a rattle makes absolutely no difference as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, we're in about a metre of water here, right up to the shoreline. I'm going to show you how I work this lure. So, cast out. And all I'm going to do is a couple of heavy twitches to get me started. One, two. And I do absolutely nothing. So it's just gone like that. And it's slowly rising and then I go again. Twitch, 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 maybe three times. Pause it. Twitch, twitch, twitch. And that fish was caught on the pause. So basically I was talking away, it's on the pause, and all of a sudden I'm on. So as that lure's gone like this, looks like an injured bait fish, starts slowly floating towards the surface, the flathead sees it, and there's another one. That's a good fish. Not a monster this time. Here you go, prime example, right on the pause. Did absolutely nothing, and he's eating it on the pause. Smaller fish, still a legal size. Uh, might actually just lift him in, Rod, because uh, I don't want him all tangled in there. He'll just lift straight in, he's not a monster. Still a lovely fish though. Beautiful. Yep, big fish. Yep. Is it a fish? Yep. Oh, I dropped him. Oh, no. <sighs> oh, no, Rod. Oh, no. Big fish. Oh, come on. Oh, bad luck, brother. Man, the bend in that rod. Rod. Big fish. Big fish. <laughs> yeah, well, big swim bait. Big fish normally. Oh, Rod. It hurts my heart. Weed doesn't run and go. <laughs> bah, bah, bah. I love this lure. It's a great lure. What makes it a good lure? Ah, oh, just the way it swims and glides. It's slow sinking. So on that pause, it just sort of drops a little bit. <clears throat> Gets in the zone, especially if you're fishing that meter water. Oh, oh. Bite. Yep, good fish. Oh. Yeah, this one's a bit bigger, I think. Oh, he's jumping out of the water. Stay connected, mate. Oh, I think he's all wrapped up. Yeah, he is. Grab that neck quick. I'm gonna pull him in quick. Yes. Crack a fish. Beautiful. About the same as the first one, I'd say. Yeah, Maybe yeah. nudging 60, something like that. But again, on the dead paws. Oh, look at that. That's better than I thought, actually. That's a cracker. He's a fat fish. Gotta be. Wet your brag mat, because if they're hot and dry, they can take the slime coat off the fish. It's not good. What have we got? Right on 60, oh, just shy. Yeah, right on 60 centimetres. Nice, fat, healthy fish too. Beautiful fish. Very, very good. But we do know, again, support his body weight. There's much bigger fish in here. Oh, what a cracker. Super healthy, beautiful spots all over his body they're just such a great fish i love them i absolutely love them i've been catching them since so don't laugh at me man it's true i love them i've been catching them since i was i don't know 10 or something and i just don't get sick of them especially when you when you know there's one in here as long as your leg and i think rodney might have been connected to that one earlier that's a cracking fish very fat fish this one So this edge all the way along here, a few years back, I, I think Rodney was saying he used to fish along here and it, um, it had a lot more weed before the big storms we had on the coast here, but there's a weed line. You can see it when the sun's out, just like a dark line all the way along. And we found the further we went along, the thinner the weed line got, the less flathead we caught. The thicker the weed line, the more flathead we caught. So we've moved back up again, even though you've drifted an area, if you picked up a couple of fish, often it there's more there, let me tell you. So we've come back to where the weed is at its thickest. So we've got sand, nice weed patch, then sand again. It is the ultimate ambush point for big flathead. 
Oh, big fish. Where? Just seen it. Just seen it come up off the weed. Whereabouts, Rod? Just where my line is, probably a few metres to the right. Yeah, right. Like in the centre of that tree. Oh, gotcha. Okay. It was when my bait hit the water, it literally come up and then went down. It's definitely a big fish. So Rodney's just handed me a swim bait. I'm going to switch from that hard body that I was using before, catching lots of fish, but I really want a big one. He's, he's handed me this hard body. I don't even know what brand it is. It doesn't even have the brand on it, but uh, it looks the goods. And these are really, really popular for catching big, big flathead in the shallows. And uh, I'm going to show you how to, how to swim them all the way. I like to swim them anyway. So you cast it out as shallow as you can. And what I normally do, you can let it sink a little bit if you want to. And I'll just do one, two, three, very similar to the hard body, pause it and it sort of glides along. One, two, three if you want. So you just want it going like that, like an injured bait fish, and then it's just going to glide slowly. Nice, pause. Now I'm just going to wind this one in real quick and just show you in the water here what they look like. So you can see that sinking down, twitch, 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 and then just sits there, sinks down, twitch, 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 and it sinks down again. And that's basically all you're doing. Just making it look like it's an injured bait fish. It's a really easy meal. Now, the other thing I'll also mention is color. There's a big Zeric Infinity that I often use as well. I think I've got one there. I might throw that on later as well. Much heavier, about four times the size of this lure. But the one that's caught us the most is absolute pearl white. White is without a doubt, in my opinion, the best lure no matter what the water colour, to use in the shallows for big flathead. They just, I think they see it a long way away um, and it just seems to catch more fish. Um, I've caught them on silver and gold, I've caught them on pink, all sorts of different colours, but I tend to find that white, without a doubt, like the one Rodney's got on there, is, um, is a, a great colour to start with. That's probably why in our tackle store we've got no white ones left because everyone's buying the white ones. They sell all the time, that's right. But you tend to find, as I said before, the bigger the lure you use, the more chance, I believe, in the shallows, not in the deep water, you can catch a metre flathead on a, a little vibe that big, but in the shallows here, big glide baits, no doubt about it, they catch big fish. Holy smokes! Keep going, Rod. Keep going. Big one on it. He's gone. Oh, did you see the size of the one behind it? Oh my gosh. So Rodney's hooked this smaller flathead. It's right there in the water. And an absolute monster has come up behind him and tried to eat that one. Did you see the size of that, Rodney? That was... <laughs> that was a 90 plus every day of the that's, week. That's the second one I've lost today. <laughs> oh my gosh, and that is often the case. Recently, there was one caught here on the Gold Coast by a lady, it was 96 centimeters. She's caught a small flathead. She's pulling it up on a fish trap, I believe, and a monster flathead come up and tried to eat the small flathead. They're, they're carnivals, they love eating their own kind. That fish is still in here. We've got a chance of catching it. Yeah, that what was huge. What a monster of that a flathead. That was another big fish. That was monstrous. <laughs> oh my gosh, I kid you not, its head was a foot wide. That's a big that fish. That was a monster. I don't think I've ever in my life seen a bigger flathead than that. <sighs> my heart's racing, man. Oh, yours or mine? Holy smokes. <laughs> I'm not leaving this spot until I catch that fish. <laughs> Oh my lord, Rodney. Well, I hooked one earlier, hooked that one and then dropped it. Oh. Can you imagine if he actually had it in his mouth at one stage? He had it, he, he was up on it and oh, then yeah, dropped it. Oh my lord. But you can see the size of that flathead. Yeah. The one I dropped. And it disappeared. And it's eating a bait that size. <sighs> Sorry folks, I know we just got a little excited there. But, I don't, and you obviously, you wouldn't have seen it. But um, it's not every day you see a flathead that size. That was just monstrous. Absolutely oh. monstrous. Well, or addictive style of fishing when you hook big fish. It could be one fish a whole day. Yeah, I know. But you get a 90, it's, it's so addictive. It's the potential addictive. that gets you there. Yeah, yeah. Like that, that, that was a special fish, man. Oh. And anyway. in all honesty, it either makes this video pretty good or it makes it amazing. Watch yep. the hooks yep. far out. All right, let's keep rocking. Oh, <clears> gosh. 
we'll drift it, actually. Let's do it. Big flathead. Oh, I just spooked yeah, yeah, it. Oh, it's come oh, back, it's come back. back. Oh. Where'd he go, where'd he go? Keep an eye on him. Yep. Still there, still there. I think he's on my lower. Is he? Oh, he's, yeah, he's, he's still right, there. He's right, they got him. Oh, yeah, he ate it. And then he spat it. Oh my gosh, he ate it and then he spat it. Oh, yeah, got him. Got him. Get him? Yep. Yes. Got him. Yes. He's. Oh, he spat it. He spat it. Is that another one there? That's a big fish. Is that another one there? See that? Right, near my lure now. That's a big fish. Big fish. He was huge. I can't believe that. Man, we are still reeling. So Rodney loaded up on one fish earlier, dropped it, and we had that ridiculously big flathead come up, try and eat the other little flathead. And then we were side casting to one that was about an 80, eight my lure, well not really, pecked at my lure, eight Rodney, still lost the, just one of those days, far out. We really wanted to show you a big fish. So, it just means we've got to come back out in the water and do it again. So this is um, day two. Jason Big Flatty on swim baits. Uh, we're waiting for the tide to push in a little bit more so we can get up on the flats. And on the meantime, in the meantime, we're gonna go along on these walls, drop some plastics down some big fish being caught along here just for a bit of fun while we wait for that tide. It's a very, very effective way of catching big flathead. It's not as fun as throwing swim baits, but um, yeah, it can be very, very effective. I'll show you how to do it. Oh yeah, nice one. Oh, it's a good one. Hang on, let yeah. me get the net. He's hooked on the nose. Oh, unhook him. I should be able to just, up. Oh, there he goes. Dropped him. It was only a little fella. It's probably about a, oh, I want to say little. Probably about 40. No, two? 50. 50, you reckon? Easily over 50. Oh, there you go. How they get off with six hooks. <laughs> the rocks. Yeah, it's a bit better. No, not really. Just foul hooked him. Yeah, got him on the side. Just another little one. But it had to happen. I said it's going to happen in the next couple of minutes. With the madam bait so close to the bottom, get him underneath. That's why I don't mind those little ones coming off on the side of the boat. Before you let this fish go, Rod, I just want you to show the folks at home the belly of this fish. Yep. Because I have a theory. I'm going to talk about it a little bit later on. Work that out. What? Oh, it's gone through and oh, back out again. No, got him. Oh, let me get my fingers in him. Okay. Look at the size of that little flathead. And then just show the underbelly there and you'll see that real white belly. I'm going to talk more about that in a little while. Oh, yeah, there's one. Oh, that's a big one, boys. Oh, something's eating it. No, mine's a fish. Holy smokes, what is it doing? Come to the surface. What is that? I reckon I got a stingray. Ah, oh, it's a big eagle ray. Oh, no. That's not what we want. Come on, I think it just got off. Did it? No, nah, I've still got him. Why are you filming me? It's a stupid stingray. We showed you a picture a little bit, we showed you a shot earlier of the underneath of a flat end. Very, very white. And the amount of times, well, that happened to us just recently, where a big monster flathead will come up and try and eat a smaller flathead. I have a theory that when that flathead's on your line and you're pulling it up and it's fighting and thrashing around, it's flashing that white belly. 
and that's potentially what that's mimicking. They are, they are carnivores, they eat their own, and I think that's why that white color in the affinity does so well on so many monster flathead. This one also has a chin weight underneath that you can actually take off if you don't want it to sink. But I, uh, I love the sink rate on these. I've just switched the hooks out because this is an older one and I let the hooks go a bit rusty. So I've just put on some finer gauge hooks and it still swims perfectly. So that's the swim bait I'm gonna persist with today. The rod that I've got is a six kilo bait caster. Um, I normally use a swim bait rod which is a little bit heavier or like Rod's got, but this six kilo Venom throws this thing beautifully. I've got an ATC Combat 30 pound braid and I'm fishing about, I think it's a 40 pound litre. Purely because it's a big lure. I don't need 40 pound for a flathead, but big lure like that. Slightly heavier leader, less likely to snap. You're gonna catch a lot less fish throwing these, but if you do find one that eats it, it's gonna be something very special. It really does feel bizarre throwing big swim baits like this that you'd normally throw at Murray Cod <laughs> for big flathead. But it definitely works and it definitely sorts out the big ones. I'm just gonna work you through how I work the big infinity. Everyone's got their own technique. You gotta work out your own, but this is the way I do it. So I've cast out, and don't worry about that big splash. Think about the amount of mullet that are jumping and splashing all the time. If anything, it attracts a big flathead in my opinion. But once I've uh, once it's landed, you can start working it straight away. I just give it one hit and it just sort of darts like that. Then it just sort of glides along you know, on the paws and just keep doing that. And you can vary how hard you whack it. You just do it nice and easy. Occasionally give it a bit, bit of a harder one. And I'm all the way out in three meters of water here. I'm gonna move in a little bit closer. But what I tend to do is the paws is longer the closer the lure gets to the boat because I want it to sink down enough to tempt a really big flathead to come from the deeper the deeper water so when I'm in the shallows just like that I'm right up in the shallows over there I give it a sweep the pause is maybe one to two seconds max give it another hit pause but as it gets closer to the boat and there's that drop off, the pause is longer to let it get down just that little bit to maybe tempt a bigger fish. I actually know a fella and he uses swim baits and he'll use them in seven, eight meters of water. But he weights them down and gets them right down to the bottom and he'll sweep them. So even though I'm in three meters of water here, no problems whatsoever. As long as I let it sink down, I'm still working that water all the way to the boat. Oh, yes, got one. He's not bad. He's not bad, he's upside down. Look at it, right underneath him. Yeah, he's a decent size. Oh, finally. Yeah, look at that, that big blue tail. It's on the affinity. Look at the pinned him underneath. Yes. Yes. Good fish. Finally, we got one. We got one. It's certainly, look at him, twist it. Oh, man. Yeah, that's what I said to you. Look at that mess. Who got this net? Sure. Oh, yeah, happy with that. Oh, there goes me back. Lovely fish. That's a cracker. You can see it's not the 85, 90 that we're sort of looking for, but very, very solid fish. I'll give him a measure in a minute. You can see the affinity hanging out of his gob there. Cool fish. Mate, so fat. Probably filled, probably female, probably filled up with row. Cracking fish. Don't want to keep it out of the water much longer. We're very, very happy with that on the glide bait. Alright, here we go. Let's give it a measure. Nah, she's so shy of 70. 
Oh, maybe. What did I say, Will? 66. Mate, that is the biggest 66 I've ever seen. <laughs> Look how fat it is. Remember, we actually got... It's thick. One 65 in the Classic, and I reckon that fish was half this size. Don't you reckon? That's thick, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a very, big very 66, thick. mate. Never yeah, seen definitely. one that big, actually. Okay. That's gorging. Yeah. Time to go home, buddy. All right, buddy. You ready? Off you go. Pull that's down. Head into the current. And away it goes. I'm hooked up, mate. On the glide bait again. It's a decent fish. I think the other one was about the same size, wasn't it? Oh, come out of there. Got him in the side, yeah, okay. Not a monster. You can see these fish. Look at the colours on that one. Yes. So that's another fish in the mid 60s. Eating a swim bait that's what, 160 mil is it? 220 mil. 220 mil. Crazy, look at the size of the fish, look at the size of the lure. They have absolutely no problems after chucking a big swim bait like that. That's pretty cool. And you just know, you keep working, you keep working, <laughs> eventually, that fish of a lifetime is gonna come along. All right, I'm gonna get him back in the water pretty quick. Look how lightly colored this guy is, he's beautiful. I'm not gonna bother measuring this guy, he's about the same as the last one, high 60s I'd say. Another cracking fish though, very happy with that. There you go mate, away he goes, that beautiful blue tail. <laughs> That's fun. This lure is killing it. Look how well camouflaged they get, look at that. Yeah, it just about disappears. You can it's still right, see him right there. Yep, yeah, right on that rock edge. It'll just bury itself. Hey okay, guys, some key takeouts. Fishing the flats, using swim baits and hard body lures. Uh, tides, obviously you need a lot of water to get up on these flats. So two hours leading up to the full or high tide and two hours after. Now that also then leads into moon phases. Now for me personally, I think um, the fourth, third and second day leading into a full moon um, or the same after a full moon and the same for a new moon. So you want big tides to get you right up on those flats. So leading in to the full or the new moon uh, or leading out either way. Um, now the lures very, very quickly. Obviously you saw me use the Affinity, the Zerich Affinity today. I mean, that's a 230 mil lure and it's still caught fish in the 60s. So you can imagine the big suckers, they'll eat that as well. And I'm gonna keep casting it until I get that fish of a lifetime. Uh, Rodney was using a Western. Uh, they do really well as well. And some of the other hard bodies, uh, we've actually been using these a little bit as well. Uh, these are these bone focus a great little jointed lure. They do really well. Some guys paint them white. I think there's a white one on, on coming out. Uh, a Zerich Defiance. Again, shallow diver in that white pearl color. Sensational. Uh, you got a Barra X Pro. Again, shallow diver, which is really good. But I think the standout for me, without a doubt, was the Duo Realist Jerkbait 120 um, SP. This guy here caught a lot of flathead and has caught me a lot of flathead over the years. That twitch twitch pause slow rise just seems to smash those flathead.